Hello all and welcome to today's Caffeinated Entertainment video. This is a book review for The Blessing Way by Tony Hillerman. This is the book one in the uh, Leaphorn uh, series. It's also called the Navajo Mystery Series. Um, this book was not good. Not good at all. It was very incoherent. It was very... The words were well, and the Indian traditions in... Or, the, excuse me, the Navajo traditions, because it deals with one tribe. Uh, the Navajo traditions in the book were very well described and thought out and put into the um, put into the book but the book was very haphazardly written uh, there was no real coherent plot line the twist at the end did not save it it was not good it was just a uh, really a coherent mess of a book series or a book um, it took the page 68 to finally get to a dead body and to get to the actual mystery part of the mystery and then when they got to the mystery part of the mystery it didn't it was very slow and unfolding and didn't keep my attention very well. There are much better uh, rural history wor history way to go world okay let's try this one more time rural history rural mystery that's what I meant to say uh, books like the Walt Longmire series that is much more well paced um, much more coherent, has a straight plot line and a straight uh, setup. This kind of just bounced all around. It kind of felt like being sw being the tennis ball after being swung at by a tennis pro and bouncing off the wall and not knowing really where you're going. Um, I will not be continuing on with this series. Uh, Although the writing was very um, eloquent and very descriptive and painted a, a very picturesque view of the setting and the surroundings and what Mr. Hillerman wanted, uh, he spent way too much time on the traditions of the Navajo and of certain sections of the Navajo in the New Mexico, um, Arizona area where the book is set. And not very much on uh, the mystery and what would draw most of your American readers or English readers, mystery readers, into a book like this. When a mystery takes too too long, the book is about 284 pages. Let me check to make sure. Uh, it is 200 and... 'Cause the Kindle edition was two hundred and eighty three pages. Um because I also have a Kindle, which I'll do a, a video on all my Kindles at some point. It is two hundred and sixty nine pages in print form. Uh so it's a very short book. So for him to use that much real estate on things that don't matter to the mystery and to the plot, that's where this book goes horribly wrong and doesn't do the right thing. Um, (sighs) 
they talk about and in the back of the blurb I just read the back of the the blurb on the back of the book and they even talk about that uh, homicide is the key on the back of the blurb and like I said it takes 68 pages of what is 269 pages for the dead body to actually show up and they don't start dealing with what the dead body means and what it could possibly uh, who could have possibly killed him until page they don't start dealing with it until page 108 so you're already over a hundred pages in before they really start getting into the mystery because he's trying to juggle uh, the detective Joe Leaphorn and he's trying to jug juggle the anthropologist uh, Brendan McKee and you can't do both because Brendan McKee is looking for witches on the mountain and Joe Leaphorn is actually looking for the dead man because the dead man uh, committed a crime himself but when the dead man shows up dead they he then focuses on eventually trying to find out who killed him the book was not good it was not did not keep my attention I will not be continuing on with this highly praised well uh, mini book series this is a one and done for me when you don't draw me in because I figured you know I can knock this out in one day and I did I knocked it out as of recording yesterday uh, and it is not worth anybody's time at least in my opinion if you like the book I'd like to find out what you liked about the book and why you liked uh, the book and I'd like to have a critical well thought out discussion because hey my not liking the book is my prerogative and your liking the book is your prerogative I would just like to see what made you enjoy it and what potentially I missed that, that I didn't enjoy um, before I forget I gave this book two stars out of five uh, it doesn't get a one star because the writing is so eloquently descriptive but as far as a mystery book it misses the mark almost completely and almost totally you have to forgive the dog barking in the background because animals do what animals do without further ado like comment subscribe please do comment down in the bottom and tell me what you liked about the book if you liked the book and if you agree with me comment that too like uh, we can commiserate over how this book I wanted to like it I was expecting to like it it came highly recommended but it failed on so many levels I cannot begin to explain everything that went wrong with this book so with that said comment like subscribe and I'll see you next time on the next video on this channel hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time